Hello everyone, today I've got a tutorial showing you how to render absolutely brilliant quality videos in Sony Vegas Pro 14. So as you can see here, I've just got a regular clip, uh, I've muted the audio, but it's a 1080p file and it's at 30fps, so I'm going to show you how to do this for 30fps and also if you want to do 60fps. So what you're first going to want to do is make sure that all of this is all easily collected, connected with your project. So you're going to want to click Project Preferences up here or Properties. And uh, that's the cog just here. Now you'll see here that you've got all of these options. And you're just going to want to forget this drop down menu and just make up your own. So it depends if you want 1920 by 1080 or if you want 1280 by 720 videos. But I like 1080p, so I'm going to go with 1920 by 1080 um, So that's what I'm going to use here. And obviously, depending on what your frame rate is, if you want 60fps, put it at 60. If you want 30fps, put in 30, like that. And uh, it'll automatically set itself. But I'm going to stick with 60. As I said, I prefer 60. Um, I actually prefer it on 60, so I just enter that in there. And you could even go up to 120 or even 240 if you, yep, see I've already got a setting up here, um, if you love really high FPS. But I'm just going to go with 60 FPS. Um, now you don't want any any stereoscopic modes because you're, well I'm not doing 3D. Um, I don't actually know how to use 3D for any of that, so if you want to, if you want to know, maybe I'll figure it out and do another tutorial. But you want pixel format on 8-bit, this is the quickest. You can put it on 32-bit, but that takes a lot longer to render, and I can see absolutely no difference. Um, I've done so many tests, and it's made no difference at all. Um, you're going to want best, uh, so that you can see, obviously, the rendering quality is at its best. Uh, you want the motion type blur, I always leave it on Gaussian. Um, de method, method, it'll, it'll naturally be on blend fields but I change it to none because I don't like the look blend fields gives it uh, and this means it's much more clean. The resample mode I always put it on disable resample um, but smart resample means that if you have higher FPS going into lower FPS you'll be able to see it whereas with disable resample you can't see it. Uh, then I always click start all projects with these settings and click apply. That's you done and uh, you can look at your clip and it will be matching those settings now. Now to get onto the actual rendering, you're going to want to go File, File, Render As. And the perfect thing for YouTube here is um, underneath Sony AVC slash MVC. Um, now if, you, if I untick the show favourites, you'll scroll down and you'll see AVC slash AAC. It's not that one, it's AVC slash MVC, this one. You want to click the down arrow and you want to go to Internet 1920 by 1080p. Click Customize Template, and here, this is pretty much exactly what I use. I put mine on 1080p, I put it on 60fps, because as I said, I like it. Um, it'll naturally put it to here, but that's fine, because you got it on Disable Resample. Um, your field order is none, and the bit rate, you don't need to worry about the pixel aspect ratio, you just need the bit rate. I put this, I usually put it on its highest, but... Recently, I've been putting it on 16 because I've noticed it actually doesn't make much difference above that. And then, if you want to know whether you can use your GPU, aka your graphics card, you can figure that out by going to System and clicking Check GPU. And it'll say, if it says CUDA is available or something else is available, then you can change it to render using GPU. Uh, otherwise, it will just be using your processor. And that is it done. You put the profile on high, you go to project even and where it says video rendering quality put it on best you're done those are your render settings all you then got to do is save it to whatever you want so you could call it tutorial just so that you guys can see oh whoops oh crikey um just so that you guys can see that i can save it click save click ok and then uh all you got to do is click render and uh it'll put it to whatever file you want that is how you render brilliant quality videos at 1080p 60fps and 1080p 30fps. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.